What is XML? For someone who hasn't worked with markup before, this might seem very frightening. But don't you worry, it's actually a lot easier than what people make it out to be. XML stands for Extensible Markup Language and it's a language used widely across the internet. It was designed to store and transport data, but more about that later in the course. It was also designed to be both human and machine readable. This will make more sense later on in the course as well. That's a quick description about what XML is and what it's for. The XML DOM or the Extensible Markup Language Document Object Model is the hierarchy of all the nodes. Without seeing a visual representation, this might seem scary and hard to grasp, but we're going to go through all of this in just a second. If we look at the picture, which will be provided in the course files, we can see what the hierarchy looks like. I added a few points to the left that can be good to keep in mind while looking through this picture later on. If we look at the top, we have the parent node of the document. This node is what's referred to as the root node. This is where all the other nodes are nested, and if we take a look at the node that is just beneath the root node, we can see that it's the book element. This can also be referred to as the child node of its parent, which would be the root node. And if we take a look to the right, we can see one of its attributes. In this case, it only has one attribute, but it can in fact have multiple ones. This attribute being the name attribute. If we look at the child nodes of the book element, this being the two elements beneath it, we can see that there are two more elements, category and price. And this is now a recurring event and it doesn't get much harder than this. Just like the book element, these two elements have attributes too. The category element has a text attribute with the value of comedy. And the price element has a text attribute with the value of $9.99. And since HTML is a markup language, just like the XML, that means that pretty much every website on the internet is structured the same way as we've just seen. If you're sitting there being confused about the question, what is a node? Then let me explain it like this. According to the XML DOM, everything in an XML document is a node. The entire document is a document node. Every XML element is an element node. And the text in the XML elements are text nodes. And every attribute is an attribute node. I hope that clears things up. Now, let's head over to the next module and get practical and put all our newly found knowledge to use.